Hi, I'm Howard Nemo of We Are Change Connecticut and Truth Talk News on TruthBroadcastNetwork.com, exposing the mainstream media's instant attack upon guns after the horrific tragedy in Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut. Now, guns don't kill people, ladies and gentlemen. People kill people. What the mainstream media refuses to do, of course, because they're so funded well by Big Pharma, putting all their ads on, asking your doctor if you should take Orencia, even though it gives you cancer, that it's good for you. So they're in the pocket of the Big Pharma medical mafia, who are responsible for many of the quote-unquote mental illnesses, people getting going out of control. Uh, it looks as though these mass murders have one common denominator, psychotropic drugs. Make no mistake about it. Well, let's hear these gun grabbers explain the current situation that we are under uh, in this country. And this is from NBC News, a perfect example uh, of the controlled mainstream media attack upon freedom, liberty, and most importantly, truth. Within moments, it seemed, of this horror, the debate over gun control began anew. And perhaps because this massacre involves such young children, there are already signs that it may represent a tipping point in the discussion. NBC's Tom Costello has more on that. Tom, good morning. Erica, good morning to you. And you know there is uh, some confusion about which weapons were used and whether they were in fact owned by his parents and his parents legally owned weapons. But as you mentioned, Connecticut uh, is now dealing with this again. And Connecticut has some of the toughest laws in the country. And so this tragedy has given the gun control debate new fuel. Even before Friday's carnage, there have been so many mass shootings this year alone. Two murdered at a Portland mall on Tuesday. Another six at a Sikh temple in August. Seven at a small university in California. Five murdered at a Seattle coffee shop. And 12 dead, 58 wounded at a movie theater in Aurora, Colorado. Within minutes of the Connecticut massacre, social media lit up. When will it stop, read one tweet. Another read, I can't take it anymore. I'm a hunter who loves hunting and owns guns, and I'm saying we need some gun control. And this tweet, people who shoot up schools won't be stopped by laws and or will find guns. While on the NRA's Facebook page, we need to protect our children, not build laws against guns. But by mid-afternoon with the White House flag at half-staff. As a country, we have been through this too many times. A citizen's petition on the White House website was calling for gun control, and the president was hinting at something he has rarely mentioned. And we're going to have to come together and take meaningful action to prevent more tragedies like this, regardless of the politics. And in Colorado, still haunted by the Aurora and Columbine massacres, the governor of that western pro-gun state also said it's time to begin a discussion about sensible gun control. We can't postpone the discussion uh, on a national level uh, every time there's a shooting. The NRA, which has been central to the debate criminals. for so long, said until the facts are thoroughly known, it will have no comment. I was shot four times during that whole ordeal. I still have three bullets with me for the rest of my life. Colin Goddard survived the massacre at Virginia Tech, where 32 people died. He's now an advocate for background checks on gun sales. You know, I thought you had to register your gun and get a license for it and certainly go through a background check. And it took getting shot to learn that we actually don't do any of that. We don't even do background checks on all gun sales in this country. When I learned that, I couldn't believe that. Wounded former Congresswoman Gabby Gifford's husband, Mark Kelly, state you're in. has joined the call on Facebook for gun control with thousands of likes and growing. With dozens of dead in Connecticut, including so many How many children, dislikes? The debate Why don't you talk about the dislikes? Connecticut has. Again, what if a teacher had had a gun? gun what if the principal had had a gun? She could have blew him away instead of getting now, shot herself when she ran to the, to the uh, sound. It's disgusting, ladies and gentlemen, what this country is putting up with here. Absolutely disgusting. Whenever we have a tragedy like this, we ask the question, how could it happen here? But this one even feels a little bit different. It's not just that this was a safe, quiet, southern New England town, but also the fact that it happened in the classrooms behind us. How could it happen there with kids so young? In this postcard New England community, the Newtown General Store is a popular after-school candy stop for kids. 
Now, a woman behind the counter here worries some of her young customers may never be back. Newtown, Connecticut is the kind of place that feels a million miles away from the danger of big city America. A town three centuries old, representing the country's original and best values, changed forever in a storm of gunfire. Caller's indicating she thinks there's someone shooting in the building. A 20-year-old returning to his former school to commit an act so horrific, so incomprehensible, it may be impossible to understand. How could any mother imagine a day that would begin with a kiss at the bus stop and end with a candlelight vigil for her child? How could a father who had hugged his son just hours earlier turn on the television to see the President of the United States mourning the boy's death? The majority of those who died today were children. Uh, beautiful little kids between the ages of 5 and 10 years old. There is always a chilling dissonance to violence in a place where sons and daughters should be at their safest. From Columbine, as I to said, Virginia the Tech, teachers should have been armed. Schoolhouse in the Amish custodian, country. somebody should have but had a gun. The massacre at Sandy Hook Elementary. The wisdom of America has been kindergartners taken away. Old. Boys and girls by the gun grabbing communists and making friends they wish know for the rest us. of their lives. Cut I'm Howard Nima, the place where they came to grow. And this is, I mean, a Truth Talk News. These are special people the week before Christmas that just lost their joy. Today is the day. Today is the day. While others will debate what the country should or should not do about the lethal combination of guns and diseased minds, and we're going to have to come together and take meaningful action to prevent more tragedies like this regardless of the politics. Here in Newtown, there is no talk of public policy. There is no Just public a community policy that wondering can how its long history from changed this, course so quickly and, and so tragically. Watch Truth Talk News Monday to Friday, and you know, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Knowing any of these children personally, but for any of us who have